afternoon, everyone, and thanks for joining us right here on Midday Kentucky. David Goldman, everyone. Hey, everybody. How are you? Oh, gosh, I, I love it. I had a good buddy, and of course, Katie, who's okay. going away. <laughs> <laughs> you know, just Katie. Katie, we love you. Aww. We love you, Katie. <laughs> You're going away for a week. Yes, I uh, am. Starting next week, so Dave is just you know, pruning the, the trees, waiting. David will be taking the reins. I, I yeah, know you, everyone will. Yeah, yeah, watch out, yeah. David, we've got something fun for David coming up today. Oh. He's going to be competing against our National Spelling Bee representative here locally. Yeah. He's going to be on ESPN. We're putting David and Joey back to You back told me this words. was a push-up contest. Yeah. You did not say a spelling bee. You said, David, you're going to have to do push-ups. I was ready. I was practicing. Well, Joey's <laughs> over there. Joey's over there doing push-ups, getting ready to take you That's on right. the Joey, spelling contest. That's right, Joey. We're doing push-ups. Uh, well, you, know the the hardest, you know what the hardest thing is, is I've actually got to pronounce the words that you uh, Yeah, so me. we'll see. Um, spell, but so impressive, impressive I don't even man, think so. Joey's going to be able to know how to spell the words. Who knows? Because you won't say it right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I'm thinking you should actually do He'll school all of us. You want to sit on the interview as well for me. Well, we'll sit back here and we'll moderate the competition. I'm just thinking I will... I will mess it up because of my <laughs> accent and the pronunciation. Accent, yeah. Okay, all right. Yeah. We'll, we'll see what I'm happens. I'm getting to it. Do you like that? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, wait, maybe Cut I should be words. pronouncing the words and no. kids. Oh, I already know what they all are. <sighs> I already know what they yeah. are. It is what it is. Yeah. Well, it we've is got that is. coming up. It's so like you've got to move on, my friend. All right. Hey, um, I was thinking I saw this interview online and I thought to myself it would be interesting to get your opinions because I just recently went out to a restaurant. What was that one that I went to with some friends that were from town? Middle Fork. Oh, yeah. And yep. they said to me, we left and we went and had a drink somewhere. Mm -hmm. They said, you are really quite demanding at a restaurant. Oh. And I was <laughs> I like. I can't see that. Really? I didn't think so either. <laughs> he is, he yeah. is. I've been to yeah. restaurants really? with yeah. you. Did yeah. you oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's really interesting because I don't think I am. Okay. It's just that I would never do these things. And now when I saw this interview, I thought to myself, that's everything I don't do. Okay. So does that make me demanding? This is an interview that waiters and waitresses were saying that really annoys them in a oh, restaurant. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here's something. Refusing to, g oh, sorry. Let me start off with the top one. What was it? We were talking about stacking, stacking your plates. plates. Right? Yeah. Okay. Like. I can't stand it when people do that at my table. And I will say to someone, if I see them doing that as a guest at my table, I'd say, could you please not do that? That's for the waiter. Now, mm. is that a demanding thing? I think it's a good thing. You know, I'm, I'm the one that's stacking them usually. Because, you know, like at my house, it was like, all right, get your stuff together. And I realize after we've done this interview, you know, it's like, what are you doing? Just let them have Don't it. Don't you agree? Yeah, no, yeah. I totally do. It's a good eye opener. Okay, that's one thing. Okay. The next one was um, not giving your name at the restaurant. No, I don't quite understand that. They're basically saying that you shouldn't refuse or be offended if someone's wanting to have your name when, you know, they're asking for your order, as an example. No. Not when you're booking. I've never even heard of someone I don't, being annoyed I didn't think by that, that was such a big deal because at Starbucks, they ask for your name. Right, right. I just imagine with you guys, it's the superstar status. You know, it's like, listen, and, you know, you're just trying to cover the privacy. I understand, you know, you want to get low a little. So I'm sure you guys sometimes have to use a fake name when you're going out. <laughs> what? We're just looking at you going, where are you going? <laughs> I'm just saying, I'm just saying, with Katie, I can totally see that. Oh. What's your fake name? Um, Catrice. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. I love it. Well, I can't wait to call That's you That's her that. midnight to 4 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> my place. <laughs> <laughs> All the other times you're asleep, yeah. you know, yeah. like really. Um, this irritates me and I don't okay. like it when people do it to me, especially friends that go to walk into a restaurant, Un sitting at uncleared tables. Oh yeah. So w you know okay. when you go into, and here in America everyone says wait for the waiter or someone to come to, s to seat you. My, some of my friends just walk straight in and sit down at a table if they see it free. Right. And it's full of other people's <laughs> food. Trying to claim it. And yeah, waiters are saying they, they hate that. you doing that. Is it because they want the food that's already left No, there? I just think <laughs> they just want to hurry up and sit down very quickly, res uh, not responding to are you happy with the food? Uh, I don't ever talk to the waiters about whether I like the food or not. If um, I don't, if I I don't do like it, I'm not going to eat it. But I, I think this means more uh, just not responding. And I yes. have encountered this at restaurants, and I find it to be incredibly rude. What, the waiter When, like, a nice you? waiter or waitress comes up to the table, right. and they say, oh, is everything okay? Right. And, pe and some, you just 
I've se been there with people who just ignore yeah. them as if they're not standing no, there and they're not a human them. trying to help you. Right. You know, I think you say, oh, it's fine, or, yeah. or I don't like it. Say whatever you want, but yeah. to like not address them, I think that's so Give rude. them a little, that's hey, really rude. it's great, yeah. let's keep it going. Don't, isn't there a point also, let's be real, right. when they continually come back? Oh yeah, and you're like, I I'm not a big trying fan to of that. We're just trying okay. to have a conversation, yeah. and you're like, please quit interrupting, you know, thank right. you for everything. Everything all right here? Mm -hmm. Every, and they keep saying that, or do you yeah. want to top up if you're, of your wine? Well, the wine's empty, so of course top it yeah, up. Yeah, let's keep That's it going. Of That's course top it up. What? Isn't that what everyone does, people? Keep yeah. going. The bourbon's looking a little watery. Another bourbon, please. It's right. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. It's He's ready. Get That's that the way going. I look at it. Okay. Um, yeah. okay, one more that I was just thought would be interesting is failing to mention you want to split the bill. Well, at what point me mentioning it? Like at the beginning? Can I or? just say something? Yeah. I'm just going to put, put it out here. You know how I feel, okay? because you've been to lunch and dinners and stuff like that with me. I pay the bill. Actually, we always go Dutch. No, last <laughs> time, because I paid the first couple of times and you said I no, really we, want to pay. No, we and decided then, when we yes. first went out that we would always go Dutch. Yes, but I, you didn't do that to begin with. So what I'm saying is, Please. I just look at it like this, is if you're inviting me out for dinner, right. you're paying the bill. That's how I look at it. Class, class people. Mm. No? Well, no. It, <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. I just I think it's fine. A to gentleman's split the bill. perspective. I don't a think you should ever have to pick up the bill. That's, That's just my right. Opinion. Well, not on dates. But if I'm just with friends, I don't think there's a problem with like I'm going on this trip for a week with my friend. We're going to be in Europe, and right. we're just girlfriends. I mean, we'll You're just probably split, or I'll yeah. pick it up. She'll pick it up. We'll kind of just rotate. Yeah. But I've, I would have no issue just splitting our bill. I think that's a little different. It depends different. on the location. Like when you're what doing type a big trip like that, and you're constantly e eating out. But you know what? If you call me up, Katie, and you're like, "Hey, listen, uh, we're going out with a bunch of people. Uh, why don't you guys come?" Then you know it's like, well, that's yeah, I don't think that group, implies right, I'm that paying for everything. If Troy's right. like, "Hey, David, listen." You want to go out to dinner? I'm like, heck yeah. I'm going to be like Troy. This one's on. Yeah, but I also think there's nothing worse than sitting at a table and someone saying, I didn't order the spring roll. Oh, yeah. Or I only ate half a salad. Yeah. I yeah. can't stand that. Gross. But so usually when I'm with friends, if we want to split the bill, like if there's just two people. You set it up front. We, or we just say, can you, we just give our card and say split it even. It doesn't yeah. matter what you yeah. ordered or what I ordered. It's a couple yeah. dollars. You know, just split I, it did even. We do that? I think we've done that. Like maybe someone got something more expensive, but yeah. that's easier for the waitress, I think. Now I know. I'm going to order lobster for breakfast. Yeah. Hey, um, <laughs> Katie, you brought up a really interesting topic in regards to really crazy engagement pictures. Oh, okay, because yeah. your brother's your brother's about to be married. You've been going through yeah. conversations with him. Yeah, and I really liked their engagement photos. They were sort of the typical outdoorsy. I think they were in a field or something, right. you know, holding each other and, right. and whatever. But I saw this online, and I have to say, I really love Cheesecake Factory. Do you guys? Oh. Well, I like to eat there. Yeah, I yeah. love it. So this couple loves Cheesecake Factory so much, they took their engagement photos here. Uh, would you guys ever go to your favorite restaurant to uh, take your engagement photos? Nope. Where are you, you're planning <laughs> your engagement photos now. We're going to show pop up some pictures of just some other um, Where's this? interesting. This is, this is outside cake? of the Cheesecake Factory. Well, that looks okay. That looks very you nice. You wouldn't think it was at the Cheesecake no. Factory. Yeah. Looks, look, I think nowadays, David, that people are just doing crazy, wacky stuff just for the sake of it. Yep. Yeah, we have they a couple other it. pictures to show you. We'll yeah. just scroll through of the other engagement photos. That looks cute. Uh, but David, where are you planning your engagement photos? Your well, we originally now, right? were trying to do a um, a big old balloon, and we were up in the air, and then it was a really windy day, so we couldn't do that. We had photographers there; <laughs> it was intense. <laughs> yeah, we were doing. See, so look at this: no dumping. Oh gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. You know, and uh, now we're gonna we're actually gonna go to Thailand, and we're gonna try to do our pictures there. So you're okay. going but for you're a already, wedding, right? Yeah, we're going okay. for a wedding. But look at this one. There, That's cute. Oh, yeah. But oh, you're yeah. already engaged. We're already engaged, but you and know, so. Now you're gonna do the photos. Yeah, we're well, gonna do, do the, photos the photos after you get engaged. And really, you know, to invite people like to the wedding and stuff. We'll use those probably, I imagine. Hmm. I got you. I'd look. Costco. <laughs> uh, why not? You I know think what? this couple met at Costco, so I kind of like that. I think it. I think it's fun. No. Yeah. Look. Oh, I love yeah. it. I, I love just it. have I to say Troy. to you, with photos, they're forever. And that's why that memory is forever. That's where they met. The and I think Costco's that I, I love Katie, that. I want to say something. <laughs> They have Costco's every month <laughs> to do the big buy. You don't need it for your engagement photos or Cheesecake Factory or Taco Bell for your wedding photos. That's not the wedding, it's the engagement. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I've just got to tell you. It's the way it is. And if once you get married to your friend, 
this is to what my friend. Do. This is what's going to happen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. When you're showing well, your grandkids. I don't know whether they're calling your boyfriend or what. Well, your I'm going to take him to Chipotle for ours okay. because oh, that's my favorite place. Special. Okay. Low love. Yes, exactly. Um, something that I've never done before, and I've traveled a lot. Right. And Katie's about to go away and she's using Airbnb all the time. Right. Mm -hmm. You're a big fan. Yeah. What do you it. got for me, my friend? Okay. So, um, we're, you know, we're currently Airbnb in our place right now. So here this in story, Kentucky. Here in Kentucky. And this struck me like, I mean, it was just, it's awful, honestly. This girl was uh, going with some girlfriends on a ski trip. They were going to Big Bear Mountain out in California. Mm -hmm. And they were going up the mountain. And they were just kind of double checking with the person, which you have that communication going on. Like, hey, we're running a little behind. Just let us know what's going on. Is everything good? And suddenly this person's like, just gets really assertive with them. And they're like, uh, no, we're not going to have, uh, we're not going to have you guys anymore. But it was actually even ruder than that. It was like, I'm not going to let uh, foreigners tell us what to do and run this country. That's why we have Trump. And one word says it all, Asian. Oh, uh, yeah. Wow. Well, I know that we have some audio here to show you of this story, oh, right? Let's yeah. take a look. Yes, um, here are some screenshots of text messages where you said that I could bring my friends. And she says, um, you must be high if you think that that would be OK in the busiest weekend in Big Bear um, and then she said no like we're done and she canceled the trip and she said um, like one word says it all Asian oh um, I, I just still can't believe we're still having this conversation yeah, that is isn't so that rude. so rude? Oh my gosh. and when I say this so I mean as a whole and I know there has been a lot of conversation especially with the Pepsi ad just recently that have come up, mm -hmm. you know, where they were thinking that could be along the lines of racism and things along right. the way. I just still can't get, so where did we get to from, she was cancelled the Airbnb, So Airbnb the woman said, because you're Asian, you can't come here. Which Katie and I were talking about, this is kind of wild because she has a profile picture. Right. I mean, she's clearly Asian, and for this to come out like 20 minutes before, you wonder if there was an ulterior motive. Uh, Airbnb did speak about this and they were appalled by it. And they basically uh, have banned that person for life. So it was just one of those things where it was distasteful, it was disgusting. And it's sad that people are still have yeah. having to deal with that in today. Well, especially I think Airbnb is such a, and just remember, I want everyone to realize if you don't know what Airbnb is, oh, you want okay. to explain. Yeah, it's Airbnb, Airbnb is really yeah. awesome. They're not necessarily a bed and breakfast. Right. This is just anyone can put up their home or apartment up for listing. But what surprises me about this, but and it's then still people run can by rent them, but it's run the by person, the person. Not Airbnb. Right. Not Airbnb. And But what's interesting is it's all review based. So right. I'm going to Croatia for a week and I'm staying in probably five different Airbnbs. They've seen my profile and I get reviewed by everywhere that I've previously stayed. Gotcha. Just like I can read their reviews. So like in a situation that. like this, Oh, yeah. Even if they weren't banned for life, anyone would go to their listing, see right. what they did, and Good. what books. So. Well, you tell us what you think. Head over to our Midday Kentucky page and tell us what if you've had a bad experience doing something like Airbnb. Yeah. Hey.